Hello folks. Today just we wanted to discuss about volcano as the, it, it's a, one of the primary subjects now we discussed in media. So volcano, what is it? It is simply a vent in the crust of earth or another planet or satellite which we call moons from which an eruption of molten rock, hot rock fra- fragments and hot gases and it is honestly an awesome display of earth's power. Yet, while eruptions are spectacular to watch, they can cause disastrous loss of life and property, especially in densely populated regions of the world. Volcanoes may lie dormant for hundreds of years, but the longer they do so, the more devastating the results may be when they finally erupt. Every often, someone suggests that a super volcano eruption could be imminent, and is so about cause destructions and kill several lives. As we would have seen from several movies, volcanic activity is now thought to be an important cause of several mass extinctions, but it may not be obvious exactly how this could trigger extinction on a global scale. After all, volcanoes like Vesuvius and Karakota were destructive but did not cause mass extinctions. These sorts of explosive eruptions are the kind that we are most familiar with, but in fact, they cannot happen on a large enough scale to cause a mass extinction. In this video, we want to briefly discuss about some interesting facts about volcanoes. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends. If you like the videos, please give a thumbs up. Volcanoes are not all the same. Some erupt a little and often causing relatively light damage. Some erupt more violently but at longer intervals, often causing considerable damage. Some stay dormant for centuries and then erupt with catastrophic consequences. Some of the most destructive of all are the supervolcanoes, which are bigger and more powerful than any of the standard types of volcanoes. Not just a single large mountain or even a wide shield, they often show as just a dip in the ground. A vast caldera, volcanic crater, many kilometers across can seem like a calm lake or peaceful fertile valley, but in fact it is tremendous and deadly, just biding its time. Magma builds up under a supervolcano for thousands of years. It is so hot that it melts the crust around it, adding to the volume and pressure of the magma. When the eruption finally comes, it is so powered by such an immense volume of magma under pressure that the effects are truly devastating. When it's all over, the land above collapses into the space left by the emptied magma chamber, creating a huge basin, the caldera. There has not been a supervolcano eruption in recorded history, but geological evidence shows us what it could be like. And there are the calderas left by previous eruptions which show us where supercut volcanoes once were or are still there. Last supervolcano. The last supervolcano to erupt was Toba in Indonesia. It left a caldera that became Lake Toba. 100 kilometers long and 50 kilometers wide. This eruption took place around 75,000 years ago, although evidence of it was only discovered in 1971. It is 10,000 times greater than that of Mount St. Helens in 1980. Scientists think the Toba eruption may have cooled down the Earth climate by as much as 15 centigrade for a few years. How do volcanoes work? Under the Earth's surface lies a thick layer of very hot, semi-liquid rock called magma. The continental land masses and the ocean floors are on a plate of rock which sit on top of magma. At or near the point where the plates join and at occasional hot spots, magma leaks through or forced through to the surface where it is known as lava. Some volcanoes produce steady streams of lava. Others build up to huge supplies of lava in an underground chamber. The pressure exerted by the buildup of magma may become so great that the chamber explodes in a violent eruption. 
The intensity of volcanic eruption is measured on the Volcanic Explosive Index from 1 to 8. The eruption of Mount St. Helens in the U.S. was scored at 5. The eruption of Vesuvius that destroyed Pompeii was probably a solid 5 as well. The one that was heard 100s of kilometers, Krakatau in Indonesia, was scored at a 6, and it happened in the year of 1883. Tambora, the eruption was scored at 7, which caused worldwide cooling for two whole years, when it happened in 1815. In the logarithmic scale, every increase of 1 on the scale represents a tenfold increase in the size of the eruption. For example, a score of 5 means 10 times more powerful than a 4. Now let's close this short video. Volcano with one of the prime suspects that can erupt at any time on Earth is Yellowstone. For most people, remains the prime candidate for a devastating super eruption. The prime location is under the Yellowstone National Park, which covers parts of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho in the United States of America. Its latest caldera is about 80 kilometers across. It's a beautiful place with acres of protected forest and an unearthly landscape of brightly colored mineral enriched pools, spectacular geysers and bubbling hot mud. Yet, what lies beneath is terrifying. This place was first identified as volcanic in 1870s but considered extinct. The full mapping of Yellowstone caldera happened in the 1960s and confirmed by satellite photography. Fun facts in our solar system. The most volcanically active planet or satellite in our solar system is the moon of Jupiter, known as Io. NASA missions image massive plumes shooting hundreds of kilometers above the surface. Active lava flows and walls of fire associated with magma flowing from fissures. Apart from Jupiter's moon Io, detected evidence of volcanic eruptions in planet Venus, Mercury, and Mars. The biggest volcano in the solar system is in planet Mars called Olympus Mons, which is 100 times larger by volume than the Earth's largest volcano of Mauna Loa in Hawaii. I hope you enjoyed our brief video on volcano. Stay tuned for our next video. Please subscribe, like and share. Have a great day. Bye.